cloggers and welcome to AWS This Week and we've got loads of fantastic announcements this week. RDS Oracle has a new capability called Optimized CPUs. There's a new SLA for DynamoDB. There's a new SysOps Associate Beta exam now available and we announce our Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Faye Ellis. <laughs> RDS Oracle now has a new capability called Optimized CPUs, and this provides two ways to maximize the value of your Oracle licenses on AWS. Now, firstly, you can specify a custom number of cores when launching new instances, and you can also now disable hyperthreading as well. And many compute intensive workloads actually perform better with a single threaded CPU. Now, many Oracle workloads require high memory, storage, and IO bandwidth, but are not always necessarily CPU bound. And you can often afford to reduce the number of vCPUs in your deployment without affecting performance. Now, Oracle licensing is of course CPU based, and by customizing the number of cores to your requirement, you can significantly reduce your Oracle licensing costs. There is a new SLA for DynamoDB. AWS have announced a 99.999 or five nines availability for DynamoDB global tables. And if you don't remember, DynamoDB is a low latency, no SQL database, and it's actually the same database backend that they use for the Amazon.com retail site. And the global tables feature simply replicates your DynamoDB tables automatically across your choice of AWS regions which enables your applications to remain highly available even if AWS were to lose an entire region. And this is great news for mission critical workloads as it's an increase on the 99.9 .9 for the standard DynamoDB tables, which are only replicated across availability zones within the same region. There is a new SysOps Associate beta exam now available. And this new exam is designed to reflect the changes in AWS technology since the original exam was first launched. Now, the beta exam is available until July the 13th, and Ryan and I will be taking the exam this week, and we'll also be releasing a video to let you know what we think. And if you're currently studying for the current SysOps exam right now, don't worry, because the current version of the exam is still going to be available until September the 23rd. So on to Guru of the Week, and this week the correct answer was D, and loads of you got it right but the person with the best answer is Tokumaru Yahashi, and I hope I said your name right. Tokumaru is a data database administrator working at Disco Inc. in Tokyo, so congratulations, you can expect a Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and hand-signed card in the post, and you're also in the draw to win a free ticket to reInvent 2019. Please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our Facebook page. And that's all from me. You've been watching AWS This Week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next time.